ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚ ಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂ ಹೈತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ವ ನರುಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಯದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನ ತಂ ಸರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತಾತ್ಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಲುಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರಬಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರುಜೀತು ಕಿಮಿ ಗಭವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಿಭಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶಿವಾದ್ವೈತಕಲಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶಿವಾದ್ವೈತಕಲಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ಈಶಾ ಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನೋಂಗ ಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ದಿ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಮರ್ತು ಯದಾ ತ್ಯಕ್ತು ಸಮಸ್ತ ಕರ್ಮ 
मर्तु जदा त्यक्त समस्त कर्म निवेदितात्मा बिचगिर से तो मे तदा अमृतत्वपति बाधमान मैं आत्मभूया यो कल्पते वही गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी झगत भोपाल परमंश जगदगुरु टोल टू गेट टू गेट रीड ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड एलिगोरी इज एक्चुअली कल्ड हरिभजन गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी झगत भोपाल परमंश जगदगुरु टोल टू गेट रीड ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड एलिगोरी इज कॉल एक्चुअल हरिभजन a series of thoughts coming inside our heart a series of different kind of conception coming inside our heart all material conception history mean a flow a flow of this you know human being those who are in this material world what are, what all are going on in this material world what all are going on this flow is called history not that only king some king doing anything it is history your life is also history your life is also history no so all history a series of you know flow going on of different kind of incident different kind of you know, all going on in your life it is called history a flow of human being flow and whatever happening all history maybe it is less important to you or maybe important to you that's not very history and we are we are actually living with present we are living at present we are living but we are thinking about your past some past love affair or your father mother gone anything past we have our conception i mean all about our past this kind of past this kind of present this kind of future all material flow of material time yes or not all your past all your present all your future what you are going to do all is a flow of material time it has got no meaning no meaning in krishna bhajan everybody speaking at present i am living here i am doing this or that but if we ask them what do you mean by present if i ask them they say at present i am living there at present doing this they are speaking but if you calculate that how you can define how you can calculate the present because time is flowing like wind try to very quick cool when try to think this thing time is flowing so fast that we cannot run with time so when you say present if you pronounce present p r e s e n t then when you, when you are going to speak speak p then you gone to past present p r e s e n t when you are going to pronounce p it gone immediately gone to past s u p r e r you speak it gone to past so what do you mean by actual present is is very sensitive thing so we are busy with past present and future but this kind of conception surely cannot help us to do hari bhajan allegory means different kind of absurd thinking different kind of absurd thinking suppose i am a beggar 
street beggar. I am sleeping in the road. In the road I am sleeping, but in the dream I, in the dream I see, I marry one, you know, daughter of one king, and I get so big palace, this, everything I am getting, so much enjoyment I am getting. In dream everything came. I marry a beautiful girl as the daughter of one king. Everything came in. I was very happy. Immediately after, one of my friends, I mean, he is also bigger, he is going to kick on my backside. Hey, get up! Now six o'clock over. Get up. Oh, I come to this material world. Now I discover that I am a bigger. Actually, I am a bigger. I need to go for begging. Or some friend is going to pull one pulling car to earn some money. This is my position. So, some people speaking, be practical. But they don't, don't understand what is practical. Some people can speak you, be practical. But they are not practical themselves. That like they are speaking, be practical. What do you mean by practical? Practical, what do you mean? Practical means you want to say reality. But reality, the situation in which you are put into, it is not reality. Reality is there in, in hidden form inside your Atma. If you discover, then reality is that. Reality is not this world. But we think it is reality. Come on, be practical, we say, they are speaking. What do you mean by practical? This is not reality. This is temporary. We are foreign people. We are coming from... Actually, how we come here, we don't know according to our karma fall. So, we we'll have to go on. So, this way, when somebody is going to think something absurd, very, very beggar man, he want to be a billionaire, big rich. This kind of thinking is called allegory. Allegory means one kind of fictitious story, which can never come true in my life. It's called allegory. So long as Pope was speaking, so long as we are going to give importance to this history and allegory. Till then, our Hari Bhajan is not possible. Because Hari Bhajan is most practical thing. Because we are, this is not practical. Hari Bhajan is most practical thing, but we are busy with some false thing. False means which is not permanent, asat. Na sato vidyate bhava, na bhava vidyate shataha. In Gita Bhagavan speaking, na bhava vidyate shataha. There is no shortage of deficiency of sat. If you open your eyes, your jnana chakshu, you can say eternal world, everything. But in bonded condition, we find this is asat, bad. I mean, material thing, we are busy. So in Gita, Bhagavan speaking, na sato vidyate bhava, na bhava vidyate shataha. This way, Bhagavan is going to clarify in front of us that Hari Bhajan, without Hari Bhajan, if we are busy with these material things, it can never give us, give us you know, transcendental pleasure. It's not possible. Srila Swachidananda Bhakti Mithaku told, that actually more or less, we are all busy with, busy with, what is called Yoshit Sangha. More or less, everybody busy with Yoshit Sangha. Pinamil, preliminary definition of Yoshit Sangha, in one line I can speak that when you have some enjoying mood, when you have some enjoying mood for any object, it becomes a Yoshit for you. Follow. So what is Joshit for you? 
that cannot be Yoshit for me. What is Yoshit for you? It can, cannot be Yoshit for me. What is Yoshit for me? It cannot be Yoshit for you. It differs. Differ. You know, man to man. Object of attachment. Object of attachment, material enjoyment is called Yoshit. So if woman, if one woman going to think about one young man, about with strong affinity, then that man become an object of joshit for that woman. Follow what I say. This way, more or less we are all joshit. If there is paramanna prasadam, I like to get paramanna. There was one devotee. In our mart, his name is uh, some, I don't like to name foreign devotees. Yeah. He used to get Paramanna. When Paramanna somebody giving is so happy, so happy. Yeah. That time my age was also not so high, used to play, you know. <laughs> this way he used to get, and if you get potato, boiled potato, then he think is a big feast. If you give oil potato specially, then he thinks it is a big fixed part. So, he used to think potato is very fond of potato and Paramanna. So, I used to give him. But he don't know it is Joshit for him, it is not Prasadam. If I think it is Prasadam, then one drop, one drop of Paramanna is more than enough. But it is Prasadam, na? But he is thinking a lot of Paramanna you have to give. This way. So Bhakti Murata was speaking, when I am going to think, when I am going to think, this flower is very beautiful in a garden. Very nice flower. I like to get the smell. I am enjoying looking. The flower is in full blooms, full bosom. Eh? In that case, that flower becomes Joshit for me. It becomes Yusit for me. This way, all this building, this anything you think, which I like to think with some enjoying mood, is become an object of my enjoyment. So it is called Joshi. So more or less, everybody is contaminated with the Joshi Sangha. Bhakti Muta is speaking. Whole Continuously for a fraction of a second, we are doing just a Sangha. Bhakti is doing every fraction of a second, some or other way, we are doing Joshi Sangha. Joshi Sangha doesn't mean man and woman, not that. Joshi Sangha, this is a meaning. Only in Gaudiya philosophy, you can understand this. So, if you are going to think, uh, you know, this way, Bhakti Mita speaking, every fraction of second we are doing Asa Sangha. Asa Sangha means Jose Sangha we are doing. And so long as I am not, so long as I am not, so long as I am not going to get rid of this Yashi Sangha, Krishna Bhajan is really typical. Yesterday I was speaking about Sadhana Kriya and Sadhana Bhakti. Sadhana Bhakti. Sadhana Kriya, I told we, most of us doing Sadhana Kriya. I mean, our Bhajana Kriya going to help us to cut anartha. At all, if it is, at, all, at all, if it is going to be done perfectly. At all, if it is going to be done perfectly, many sincerely. Then at present, our Sadhana, our Jesus, you know, Sadhana Kriya, Sadhana Kriya, like bhajan, not bhajan, like bhajan. Bhajan means seva, but it cannot be called seva because no one of there. So, bhajana kriya is okay, it is effective. Bhajana kriya I am trying sincerely. And if I am very sincere, by the mercy of Guru Vishnu, very shortly, I can cut all my anartha, I mean, I can go out of the range of sadhana kriya. Now I can step into, into, <coughs> into uh, sadhan bhakti. 
that from this sadhan bhakti it is the starting point when you are going to start sadhan bhakti sadhan bhakti means seva somehow more or less you are developing the mood of serving mood and now you are doing seva and in course of that sadhan bhakti then you can go ahead and in course of your sadhan bhakti some day you can discover that you know that bhava appear inside your heart you cannot apply force you cannot apply force to bring to bring bhava inside you bhava you cannot apply force ab bhava not it's an automatic factor so when bhava can appear then after that gradually you can go and gradually up to last point when you are going to develop tremendous love affair with krishna no self in nothing no smell then you can get prema then you can get prema which is a most important treasure in our life prema is such a great treasure we think this building ornament money is all treasure it's not actually not treasure is not treasure treasure is krishna prem mahaprabhu many time told if you are lucky enough to meet with one pure devotee who is having prema love affair with bhagwan sri krishna on devotees dama nama then you try to buy him and there you should have low law i was discussing because very two important subject matter discussion going on one is upadeshamrito which is the most vital thing for hari bhajan and another is rasamrito sindhu gist very important rasamrito sindhu gist there we are discuss i am discussing try to discuss very secret point people cannot understand what is rasa people think what kind of rasa at present we are getting that is rasa but at present what we are getting at present what we are enjoying it is not rasa to get rasa you will have to go up to certain level this condition on material rasa rasa is not so easy so this is not rasa but we think we are in confusion we think it is called rasa when we are going to quit quit when leave totally material rasa then the question of getting a prakrita rasa can come this is not a prakrita rasa we are getting material rasa so the definition of rasa so the definition of rasa in uh, in rasamrita sindhu it is written uh, also bhakti vinod thakur praying also bhakti vinod thakur praying unto the lotus feet of rasa 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 is personified you think rasa has no figure but rasa has some personal figure so bhakti vinod is going to personify bhakti vinod thakur bhakti vinod thakur going to personify rasa oh rasa you please base me so rasa has some specific figure personified so in rasamrita sindhu it is written vetito bhavana varto yas chamatkar bharbhu ridi satya jale varam saddate sarasamatah it is written vetito bhavana varto when you are going to cross the when you are going to cross the range of your mental thinking when you are going to cross the range of your mental thinking is over vetito bhavana varto one can excellent thing you can feel just chamatkar har ho excellent thing you can see one and your heart become full of shuddha sata a bright sata your heart you can discover your heart you can discover your heart illuminated with shuddha bright all and all illuminated so bright light but not burning not burning feeling so much light but by soothing very nice this kind of bright light can appear is called suddha satha 
Vishuddha Sata. In that case, when you are going to be Vishuddha Sata, all this condition, what you say, then you can get some sort of enjoyment inside your heart. That is called rasa. There is a condition. So, Vaitito Bhavana Varto, so Vaitito Bhavana Varto, Yas Chamatkar Bharavu, Ridhi Sattva Jalevaram, Shaddati Sarasamataha. When you are going to cross over the limit of your mental thinking, your limit, because you have some limit, na? Your imagination, all your imagination, power, intellect, everything, your eyes have some limit. Within some limitation is working. If I am going to ask you, read what is written there, you can say, I cannot read from there, long distance. You bring near. Then I, I bring this board, I bring too, too near to you. Yeah. I cannot read. You just, uh, you know, put it just a, a little far. That's why, that's, it, that's way you can see, that's way, this way you can see, this way you can see, this way we can see all our sense organ working under some limitation. With this limited power of vision, with this limited power of vision, with this limited power of hearing, all with limited power, we cannot do Hari Bhajan. Hari Bhajan not possible. That's why this is called all secret signs. But I am speaking daily, all secret signs of doing bhajan. Secret signs. You have to follow. This way we can do. So, Vaitito Bhavana Varto Yas Chamatkar Bharvu Ridhi Sattva Jale Varam Saddhati Sarasama. That is called actually rasa. So, we are busy with material rasa. So, with this material rasa, it is impossible. So, so long as, so long as we are going to enjoy material rasa in the material world, till then, Hari Bhajan is almost impossible. I was discussing yesterday, you can remember, that one river not going to drink her own water. A river never going to drink one water. Because river giving water flowing for others, not. And one tree, we know from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always speaking and Bhakti Mutra writing in, you know, in Bhajan Rahasya, a tree can give everything for everybody's benefit, but nothing taken. Nothing is a tree not going to take anything, anything of personal, anything. All fruits and flowers, all leaves, or whatever you want, skin or wood, whatever you want, all for public people, not for personal use. A tree doing this. So Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to glorify. In Bhagavatam you can find Bhagavan Sri Krishna traveling with friend Siddham, Sudham, Vasudham and going to glorify. My friend, you look, Aho Esham Bharam Janma. Their life is very successful. Because they are doing everything for public, they are not doing for their personal use. Aho esam baram janmo. Aho esam baram janmo. Their life is very good, successful, they are going to leave everything for others. Sujana Sayeva, like one. Pure sadhu or one sadhu, his life, his thinking is dedicated for the benefit of whole universe. A sadhu not thinking about his own personal benefit, anything. 
all the time a sadhu always thinking about the benefit of others this sadhu i can give example we know about haridas tagur we know everything but still from bhagavatam you can find one rishi one rishi his name is dadichi rishi dadichi is muni his name is muni muni mean who is going to keep silence but muni actual meaning who is going to speak only about bhagavan muni mean only who is speaking about bhagavan not speaking anything or anything related to bhagavan that is called muni mauno muni mean mauno who is keeping silence non cooperation is the material world usko mauno muni and rishi mean those who can see past present and future clearly follow so rishi also deep meaning rishi mean they are going to uh, you know after long deliberation they are going to give us of treasure of knowledge but in material world some big big personality they are like rishi means they can see past present and future they are not rishi they are not doing bhajan but still they can see past present and future even some personality i know they can focus 1000 after what is going to happen ha huh? there is such personality there but they are not rishi but they can see they can understand they have some special power follow this way dadichi muni dadichi muni he is doing bhajan very exclusive bhajan tremendous bhajan doing pastry and penance is doing now demigods they are in trouble i already told demigods actually bittasur coming out now to kill bittasur there is no how to kill bittasur no way they can kill with no weapon nothing finally they are going to take you know shelter of bhagwan bhagwan speaking well you can go uh, to request dadishi muni you can you can request you can request him to to give his own body eh? own body yes bhiksha you give your own body to me bhiksha follow bhagwan speaking and with this body you can bone they are bone bone you know you can make missile missile you can make and only and only by this missile you can kill brithasu no other way so by the advice of bhagwan indra varun they are all going to approach dadichi rishi who is doing assertions finances very heavily now going to rishi rishi pray pranam dhanavat pranam abhruti we come to you for begging begging But I can give. I am beggar. No, you can give if you like to give. You can give. Actually, then they are going to request. We need your body. Body? Yes, we need your body. If you can give, I we know you are sadhu. Uh, because without your body, we cannot make missile, and without making this missile, we cannot kill Vittasur. There is a great problem coming in front big problem coming in front of us now it's up to you you are merciful we think then dodichi bun is thinking laughing thinking who is there who is there such personality who is going to give you his own body is possible to give then laughing well i can give my body to you okay then dodichi bun is sitting in bhajan and meditation going to leave body with this with this dead body this uh, indra borun they are going to come back after that making missile going to our haridas tagur also same haridas tagur also when those muslim when those muslim you know muslim you know people they is started beating haridas tagur but still haridas tagur not going to die 
even in 22 different markets already beaten. Already beaten. Haridas Thakur was beaten on all different 22 markets of Kalna. But still not dying. Then all those, you know, Muslim you know, guard, they are speaking, you are not going to die, then our, our you know, king can give us punishment, punishment to us. Then Haridas Thakur wrote, okay, if for me, if for me your life is danger, if you, if for me, if for me your life is in danger, if for me your life is in, is in danger, then I am going to leave body. Then Haridas Thakur is going to fall down on the ground as if dead body. Then Muslim people are going to take this body and throw it into Ganga. Then by chance, by the desire of Goranga Mahaprabhu is floating, floating, floating and coming that side of, because Kalna this side and that side of Kalna is actually Santipur. They are going to meet Santipur. In Santipur, someone uh, watched Haridas Thakur. Uh, he could, uh, he wanted to help. Then after that, Haridas Thakur, you know, discovered himself in Santipur and somehow our Advaita Gose also going to take information. This way, Haridas Thakur started doing bhajan at the bank of, bank of Ganga in Fulia. From Santipur, Fulia is not so distant, long distance, one or two kilometers. Only, you can walk in distance, you can go also. So this way, Haridas Thakur also praying, Oh Bhagavan, you save them, so that. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to give the example of trees. Our Bhakti Thakur also writing, and also Mahaprabhu also writing, Tinada Vishwani Jana Tarara Vishwasthina Amanina Manadina Kirtaniya Sadahari and Bhakti Mutra is going to, going to write, Bhakti Mutra is going to write properly, uh, a clear way, more clearly. Brikho jano kati lo kishuna boloi, sukhaiya muile kare panina mangoi, jeja mangoi tare de apon don, gorma vishti swahe anir kore rakshan. Very Mahaprabhu speaking. Like a tree, there is drought, drought, you know, drought, there is no water, nothing, no rain, drought. But still, one tree is not going to ask water. So this way, going to give everything for others. Bhagavan Sri Krishna is also going to give this example. Ahu isam baram janmo. Because they are living for others, not for themselves. This way, we learn yesterday, we learned yesterday that our, our, you know, Abadhut, Abadhut Maharaj speaking, Abadhut Maharaj going to speak, Abadhut Maharaj going to speak that, you know, we are learning something from earth, Prithivima, the tolerance power, and those hills and mountains, if you look up, hills and mountains growing different kind of Ayurvedic medicine in hill, most of the medicine available in hill. Okay, after that some giving river, river coming from Himalaya, you know, almost all river. Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, all for Alokananda, all everything coming from Himalaya. So, those hills, those hills and mountains going to give us so many things, sometimes fountains, everything, but one river, one, one, you know, mountain not going to ask anything, not going to reserve anything for personal. So this way, and when we look still up, we can see after hill or mountains, we can find the sky. Sky, no? You can find sky. Sky is limitless. Where sky is going to end, no, nobody knows. Endless sky. So, this space, space, no? Space is there inside you. 
space is there inside me, space is there inside this, space is also there inside this, where you cannot see. Where is space? You cannot see. But any object, be it iron or platinum, eh, anything, rhodium, anything, space must be there. Any solid thing, maybe we cannot see. Without space, not possible. Whatever small, maybe, intermolecular space. Intermolecular space must be there. Follow? So, there is space. So, space is there everywhere, inside you, me, any object, where, where not. If, if space is not there, we cannot live. Space is a must. If there is no space, we cannot live. Space is a must. So, our Panchabhutik five elements of body, five elements of body, no? this body, five elements. When we die, if somebody is going to burn me, if I die, if somebody is going to burn me, all the five elements can go away to mix with their respective elements. My body, inside my body, air, air portion can go to submerge with air. My water portion of my body can submerge with water in the nature. Follow. This way everything. Money, you are just going to lend. You can say this much, you are going to lend. You are lending money na, from bank. Lending money, na, similar. So you are, you are lending this body. Actually, you are going to lend, you, are, you know, like you are lending money from bank or cooperative bank anywhere. So you are lending this body. Why? Because without this material body, how you can, you know, cut your you know, good and bad? By papunno, vice and barchu. How you can cut? Because without material body, one cannot cut. One has to suffer, na? By suffering, you have to cut some back. By enjoying something good, so you have to cut your good deposit. What is good there in your life, you have to cut. But suppose you are getting money, you are enjoying in the very room. Why? You have to cut. Either by enjoyment or by suffering. Anyway, you have to cut. Because this has nothing to do with this Atma. You have to cut away. If you are not going to cut, that's a big problem. Like Parikhit Maharaj was very happy, like Parikhit Maharaj was very happy when he was informed that you are, uh, you are going to die within seven days because Siringi Rishi is going to curse you. Then Parikhit Maharaj was very happy. Parikhit was speaking is very good. I wanted to get punishment for what I have done. Parikhit was speaking. I wanted to get punishment, appropriate punishment for what I have done. Now it's very easily coming to me. I can cut this portion because I need only bhakti, na. I need only bhakti, na. See if this is their big problem. See if this is going to cut, it's okay. So it is coming in my life. I am very lucky. I am very lucky in the form of cars of a Brahman is coming in my life. So I can cut all problems. So Bhagavan speaking in Gita, Nadatte kasachit papam na chayiva sukritim vibhum agyaneno avritam gyanam tena mahyanti yantabha. Nadatte kasachit pap. Bhagavan is less interested about sinful activities or your punya, pap and punya. Punya means pious activities. But he has nothing to do. Bhagavan never told you to do this thing, that thing, and go into bonded stage. It is up to you. So Bhagavan never going to advise anybody to enjoy matter or you know do some sinful activities or pious activities. It is interesting. So Bhagavan speaking in Gita, naadat naadat te kasajit paapam na chayiva sukhidim vibhun. Bhagavan is less interested about pious and sinful activities, nothing. 
Ajnana avritam dhyanam tenam yanti yanta bha. All whole world is is in ajnana, ignorant. That's why they are feeling some sort of ma magic spell, hypnotized. Suppose somebody make you hypnotize, na? You are bound to do, bound to follow him, hypnotize you. He is a part of psychiatrist. They can hypnotize you. Some jivatma, I know, it came in newspaper. We are hypnotized and he is speaking all about his past. This way, it is one kind of, you know, magic spell. Maya Devi is going to put covering. You cannot meet with the absolute truth. That is a big problem. So, you see, when you, when you look at the sky, the sky is also one guru, na? Sky is also one guru. Abhadudna speaking, this way, earth is my guru, the hills and mountains are my guru, and the space, I look at uh, the sky, endless sky is also my guru, because everywhere, where, where not, where not, everywhere space is there, you cannot find even a single place where space is not there, space must be there. So the space is everywhere, but still alone. So, is not going to be contaminated with anybody. Space is anywhere. <coughs> space is everywhere, but not going to be contaminated with anybody. Nishanga. This, this our sky is going to teach us that you, if you are going to get the association of common people, material people, then you can develop attachment. So try to lead Nishanga. Nishanga means without material qualities. Nishanga doesn't mean here, here it is written. So we learn from Bhagavatam. Nishanga means we cannot go for it. Not that. Nishanga means I already told from Bhagavatam third candle. Shango ja sangsetir hetho. Kapilji Maharaj begin to madana. I told maybe 15 days ago. It is written, Sango ja sangsetir hetho asasubhito dhya. All kind of association what you are getting in this material world is the cause of bondage. Sango ja sangsetir hetho asasubhito dhya. Because you are mixing with asat. Eternal vastu you are not going to. If you are going to get the eternal association of Dhamma, Nama, it's okay. But all matter, the material world, any man, woman, all asat, because they are not permanent, eternal, not eternal. So, Kapilji Maharaj speaking to Mother, Sangu yo sangsetir heto asat subhito dhya. If you are going to get the association of asat vastu, asat man, there is a bonding. Same association, same association if you are going to do with Shadvastu, Shadu. Same if you are going to do with association you are going to do with Sadhu, then it can help you to attain neutral position. Neutral one? Nishanga Tayo Kalpati. Nishanga Tayo Kalpati means material, this material world. Material, material qualities cannot disturb you. Shataraja Tamaguna, modes of three modes of nature. This is called Nishangatta. Many people can be there, so many people. But you are not going to get association. If you know this technology how to do, our Guru Bhargava knows. Bhavan Goswami also used to say, if there is so many chaos all around, so many problems, I can stay lonely. All around, thousands of people making chaos, ah, 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 shouting, making chaos. Bhavan Goswami is saying, still I can stay lonely. What do you mean? Because he is out of this range. I mean, material association cannot put any impact. Material association cannot put any impact in him, inside his heart. No material association, I mean, man or woman. <coughs> Any material thing. <coughs> That's why 
Kopilji Maharaj speaking to mother, Sangu Jo Sangsi Hetu, Asasubhi Hetu, Dhiya, so even same association you are going to do with some eternal object, eternal sadhu, guru, vishnu, then it, is, it can make you free from the influence of this three modes of nature. Nishanga Tahya Karpate. So this way, Akas is going to teach us Nishangata, how to stay lonely. Lonely mean? Lonely mean with Guru Vaishnava. Lonely mean with Bhagavan. Lonely, lonely mean to avoid material association. So this way I learned from space, Akash, and all around I feel, all around I watch and feel that air blowing, air, air always blowing. Yeah, blowing. Sometimes we can get very, very fine smell of flower. Sometimes we can get, sometimes we can get very, very dirty, <laughs> dirty smell. Sometimes good, sometimes bad smell. But you see, air is going to carry Air is going to carry the smell up to you. Air doing or you are getting? How you are getting the smell of flower in the garden? Because anyway, air is going to carry that smell and reach up to you. To give you a feeling that flower is there. So if air is not going to carry, how you can get? Cannot get. But anyway, air is not going to be involved in anything. Simply you are going to carry this good smell up to you. Simply you are going to carry that smell, bad smell or good smell up to you, but he is always neutral. Air is not affected. So, this air is my fourth guru. Different kind of smell, bad or good, all, you know, going to carry but still is not involved in it. Still air, air going to carry, but still air is not involved in it. Totally detached. So this way I learn that even if there is bad association, good association, but if you are established in bhakti, ananna bhakti, then bad, is, bad association cannot put any effect in you. So long as you are not going to attain the stage of Ananda Bhajan, so long as you are not going to attain the stage of Ananda Bhajan, up to then there can be some percentage of you know, bad thing in you, Anartha. Who can say? So long as you are not going to attend the platform of Ananda Bhajan. Till then, there can be some contamination because the Anartha is they are not gone fully. In that case, if you are going to mix with other men, then their contamination can come to you. Possibility. Follow. This way, in the material world, our Bhajan, in our Bhajan, we cannot proceed further. Because all the time you are associating with wife, with children, with friend and for all the time, association going on. We cannot avoid association, no? So, it's very big problem. Suppose in the room, in a small room like that, there is one cholera present, it's very highly infe infection, can be the cholera, and another person is corona. Cholera and Corona. So if you are going to put two persons in a room, then the, each person can develop two diseases. So long as there was only one disease. Cholera person only, cholera disease. Cholera person only, cholera disease. And the Corona person, Corona disease. But you are going to put them in one room. What will happen? This person going to help cholera person. Cholera person going to help. This way, they can develop both the diseases. One one disease was originally, man, developed. 
This is the condition of the material world. In all temple here, there, all bonded soul. There you cannot find elevated soul like, you know, big, big sadhu. So, they, each one of them going to cook with me, this, that, so contamination. I know this kind of comment can make a big evolution in devotional life, but I am going to speak. I know this can bring a big evolution. They can, you know, attack me, how you are, is really so. I can prove like mathematics. Otherwise, why we are not making any progress in our bhajan? If at all we are doing satasanga, satsanga, Chaya sato sanga deho e amare bose chi sange rohase. Oye Vaishnava takuro, dayaro sagaro eda se koruna kori. Diya padishaya sado e amare tomara charan. This is Kitsar you can go. So we expect satsanga, six chaya satsanga from Guru Vaishnava. But who can give? If I open one hospital, I told many times, there is only present, no doctor, who can give treatment to whom. There is a condition of the whole world. There is a condition of the whole world. We need a devotee like Keshav, Paramya Keshav Goswami Maharaj. We need a devotee like Paramya Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. We need them. We cry, we need them. Otherwise, who can? So this way, Satsanga, we cannot do perfect satsanga. That's why big problem happening. Otherwise, satsanga is inevitable. Satsanga without any failure. Jiva Goswami by writing, satsanga can never go in vain. Naraji Maharaj writing in Narad Bhakti Sutra. Naraji Maharaj writing in Narad Bhakti Sutra, bhakti inevitable. Satsanga is can never go vain. But if there is big aparat, then satsanga cannot give perfect result. You cannot give. So this way we see all bonded souls, they have some anartha. In bonded condition, in bonded condition, if you are going to get the association of bonded soul, he is also going to get, but she is also going to be this way. You are in bonded condition. So, while anartha is there, I mean, before attaining, before attaining the stage of, of ananda bhajan, before attaining the stage of ananda bhajan, there is anartha. If you are going to exchange some, you dadati, pratiginati, prichyati, gujyamakhyati, bhungte bhajan, the six kind of association is a must. But, if one devotee's ananna is established in ananna bhajan, suppose one devotee is established in ananna bhajan. Ananna bhajan means his, con his concentration is only towards bhajan, nothing else. If somebody, some devotee is ananna bhajan, doing ananna bhajan, not praying any demigods, nothing, only believe in Bhagavan, oh, but still, Due to previous bad habit, he is going to do some wrong thing. Due to pre previous habit, he is doing some wrong thing. Which is not possible, wrong thing, but suppose. In that case, if you, if you are going to find a fault with that devotee, suppose one man is established on Anandha Bhajan, he has less interest to commit any sinful activity, nothing. Then no, the heart is clear, Anandha Bhajan. But if Ananda Bhajan, somebody doing, and that devotee having some previous saska, which is very bad, and according to that bad habit gone, already gone, but due to some previous saska, like the fan, if you put off, put off the fan, for some time due to retardation, due to retardation you can, roll, you can round, and after that, that can come to a standstill point, not before that. So if you off the switch with current, there is no connection. But still, why the fan is moving? If you put question, Maharaj, current is not there. I off the current. Why moving? Because of previous inertia. Inertia, no? Inertia. Previous inertia. So it's moving. This way, some very dirty man, when he become devotee, 
due to his previous dirty sanskar sometime by chance he is not habituated to do by chance now today he do one wrong thing follow and if you are going to find that fault with that man then you can fall down <coughs> like the case of brahma brahma is doing bhajan bhajan brahma not uh, worshiping anybody but due to some previous sanskar brahma was feeling attraction for daughter saraswati but we, we should not find fault if we are going to find fault with brahma then we can fall down follow you cannot find fault this way there is very secret thing common people cannot understand they have no they cannot make any head and tail what i am speaking they cannot know the secrecy of bhajan so this way you see <coughs> about association is be careful if one sadhu is established in ananda bhajan if you are going to find fault with him you can fall down so this way association is a must to get to get free of material association you will have to do bhajan this way so the three modes of nature material <coughs> cannot put you in trouble anymore so all this air is my fourth guru because they are going to carry all different bad smell or good smell but never going to be and involved with it <coughs> so bayu the air <coughs> so bayu going to teach us this thing bayu going to teach me this thing i learned i learned from bayu this thing <coughs> and my fifth my fifth guru is fire my fifth guru is fire my fifth guru is fire so actually fire is everywhere fire is everywhere but you cannot see you have no information that fire is there inside you if fire is not there how you are going to digest all the chapati roti parman no how fire is there this way fire is my fifth guru <coughs> somehow if you you know friction of stone and stone or iron bar iron anyway then due to friction fire can come out but fire is there everywhere <coughs> so this fire is everywhere you don't know but everywhere fire everywhere you cannot understand but you will have to discover the fire everywhere fire is there fire is there everywhere so only you will have to discover by some way out way this way this agni this guru this my guru agni fire going to teach me that bhagwan is there everywhere everywhere bhagwan is there everywhere not everywhere all bhagwan everywhere bhagwan is omnipresent bhagwan is there inside this but you cannot see bhagwan is there so this fire going to teach us that bhagwan is everywhere like fire but you will have to discover by bhajan like in agni if a friction a fire coming out so you will have to do bhajan and finally you can discover bhagwan not before that so bhagwan is everywhere all of you were not but you cannot see by your bhajan it can flash out a doing bhajan and we can discover flash out bhagwan come on this way bhagwan is you know you can learn this this teachings from fire you can learn this teaching from fire there is a mystery of thing every a bhagwan is there but nobody can see bhagwan so through your bhajan fraction mean bhajan <coughs> aap can come on similarly by the help of your bhajan <coughs> you can see bhagwan in front of you <coughs> so from fire i am i am going to learn this thing from fire i am going to learn this thing and from water is source 
Fire is also my guru. And from water I am also learning something. It's called sixth guru. It's my sixth guru. When somebody drinking water, feeling comfortable. When there is too hot, you can take bath and make you free. When you are contaminated, when somehow you are contaminated, you touch somebody or some went to crematorium ground. But anyway, when you are going to take bath in water, then you are fresh, purified. Because purity property is there with water. If purity property is not in water, then it is not possible to get purity. This property is surely there in water. That's why every morning time we are taking bath, get purified, doing chanting on But water is there. Why not you? Why you are going to take bath in water? Because water has purity power. So, water is my sixth guru. After drinking, we can feel satisfaction, no problem. Feel, you know. And when we are going to take bath in water, we feel fresh, pure. So this water is going to teach us, so this water is going to teach us that you try to satisfy people by your good speech, nice speech, advice. You try to satisfy men anyway by sweet word and everything and by your darshan, like you know, darshane pavitra kara eitumar gun, gangaro paraso hile pasya nartum dhagurati, gangaro paraso hile Paschate pavon, darshane pavitra karo, ehi tomar gun. Man, by darshan, Vaishnava can purify me. Only by darshan. So, this way, <coughs> this way, what are going to teach us this purity, how to maintain sweet word, how to help people, to take bath by water and achaman, then you can. This way, this dharma purity I learned from water. is very nice, snigdha. And I can wash my dirty body and clean. I can wash, wash utensil, dirty utensil and become clean. <coughs> this way, water are going to teach us the in a sober feeling, we can get snigdha, bhava, and purify. So, water is my fifth guru. So, water is my fifth guru. This way, water is my fifth guru. And after that, my sixth guru and seventh. So, this is called fifth guru. Eh? Sixth guru. This sixth guru. After the seventh guru and eighth guru. Who? But either Sun God is my sixth guru, a seventh guru, seventh guru, sixth guru already gone. So I learned something from Sun God, and also I learned something from Moon God. So how Sun God become your teacher, guru? Well, Sun God actually sunlight there, hot sunlight. Hot sunlight going to an absorb all water from the surface of earth. From the surface of earth, sun god going to absorb all water and going to keep in the form of cloud. Eh? If sun god is not there, how, where from you can get cloud? If sun god is not there, where from you can you give? Show me how you can get sun god. Sun god is there catching the water from down and after that going in the in the vapor form and going to become cloud and moving all around. And that cloud going to drench, drench water. That cloud going to give water to us. Sometimes incessant rain. Sometimes sometime adequate, adequate rain. Sometimes shortage of rain. Can be there. It depends. So, Sun God is going to teach me 
that you can suck all water from different places and going to give hundreds of times more water. <coughs> so that all <coughs> so that all grain and crops you know <coughs> can grow. <coughs> this way I learned from Sun God that you can, whatever you are going to take some from somebody, you give hundred times more to him. Hundred times more. So this I learned from Sun God, and Sun God anyway not going to express proud, proud Baba. Sun God not going to express proud. I have done not. Doing. <coughs> so Sun God going to teach us Dana Dharma how to give donation to others. I already told him Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to this you know sloka. Oh, Isham Baram Janmo. Oh, Isham Baram, they are getting nice life, you know. So I learned how to donate to, you know, people, I mean, poor, and how to avoid, how to avoid false ego. These two I learned. These two I learned from Sun God. Anyway, Moon God, I can discuss tomorrow how Moon God from Purnim to last moment going to lose his, you know, body. After that, again, going to recover body from black moon to white moon, opposite way. This I can discuss tomorrow. Today, I am going to leave. So, the first look I can discuss maybe tomorrow or today afternoon. Martu Yada. Tekto samastha karma, martu yada, tekto samastha karma, bichikir sato, bichikir sito me, tada, 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 amritatnam padipadmanam, mayatma bhuyayo kalpate bhuyi, vancha kalpatarusikibasindhu, patitanam pavanabhavishnav, yonam.